Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see Scorpio. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Cold. Okay. Yeah. So, Scorpio, what I am getting here is that we have someone in this reading for you who has been very hot and cold, in and out, very in inconsistent. And I feel that this is someone who has problems with communication, like a clear communication. And it feels like, indeed, at the moment, you might feel that they withdraw the energy or that there is, I've, I'm, I'm getting here very strongly, that there is no contact situation. This person might have cut, cut you off, you know, in a sense of they stopped communication. Maybe they, they might have even ghosted you. But you do share very strong soul connection with this individual. Overall energy we have face to face. It feels quite strongly here, Scorpio, that there will be a conversation. For some of you, this is someone who, who want to meet up in order to talk about the situation. But at the moment, it might be a case that they withdraw their energy. Let's see. Could you please show me more about this situation for Scorpio? Let's see, Scorpio. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands with the World card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. For some of you, Scorpio, this is someone who unexpectedly might have blocked you with the ace of swords six of pentacles page of cups yes yeah, six of swords um, ace of swords excuse me seven of wands ten of wands i am getting who who got really overwhelmed <sighs> that's what they're showing me and it's like they they might have indeed blocked you or they've ghosted you the world six of pentacles page of cups scorpio i am getting here someone who hasn't experienced so much kindness and support and it's like they got really overwhelmed because six of pentacles here suggests that you've been very very generous with your time attention and affection i feel with the world you made this person really really special page of cups yeah it's like this person really felt that you have good and pure intentions but i feel this is someone who yeah it's like they've reacted in a very 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 strange way Ace of Swords. Well, that's communication. The issue here is uh, surrounded community. Yeah, it's like the issue is with regards to communication. You have someone who has problems um, putting their point across. And it feels like it's a constant battle. That's what I am getting. 
and for instance what whatever you you are saying let's say this person is taking it in the wrong way or has been taking it really t in the wrong way let's see show me more you might be dealing with Aquarius Taurus Leo we have also your energy Scorpio so you might be dealing with another Scorpio or yeah another Scorpio yes okay let's see very you see my energy it's it's kind of you you didn't hear with someone who who is it's like they cannot focus show me more please We have five of swords. Temperance. What is going on here? Show me more, please. This person has blocked energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have the Empress, Two of Swords, with the Two of Pentacles. Number 22 might be quite important, and numbers 2 2 might be of significance. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Three of Swords is an overall energy for this part of the reading okay five of swords the empress very 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 kind of exhausting energy that is two of swords two of pentacles queen of pentacles eight of wands three of swords yeah i feel that you are heartbroken over co over communication scorpio but i'm seeing you you know being very classy about this It feels, Scorpio, that you are dealing here with someone who indeed uh, en energetically and emotionally can be all... I feel this person is all over the place. We have two of swords. There is, a, there is this element of confusion, not knowing exactly what to do. Two of pentacles, juggling, changeable behavior, or it's like attitude, you know, confusion, inconsistency. Five of swords with the empress. Yeah, this is someone who sabotaged this connection. And the thing is that they had a chance for growth, expansion when it comes to this, 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 this relationship or connection with you. And they've sabotaged this. They created so much confusion. Oh my gosh. Scorpio, you might be dealing with um, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra. Let's see their feelings. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Scorpio? Who is this person? It's a very odd energy. Ooh. Okay. We have Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups, could you please show me this person's feelings towards Scorpio? Every it feels like roller coaster this 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 connection and this person's energy. Hmm. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. This is someone who got distracted. 
they it feels like they thought that their happiness it's somewhere else and they just directed their focus on 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 something or someone else and with the eight of cups they walked away i feel this person though it's heartbroken over the fact that they chose that direction with the three of swords because ultimately scorpio this person is missing your attention and this is someone who acknowledged the fact that you made them feel really really special and i feel that with this queen of pentacles you've been very caring and very nurturing towards them knight of cups a ten of cups this person has feelings for you you know i feel this is someone who deeply inside would like to come forward and reach out Yeah, that queen of wands with the eight of cups for me this is someone here who got distracted and they started to prioritize something or someone else over this connection and they've just walked away in a very selfish manner they are thinking about this now they are thinking how it might affect this connection and you now okay well, for some of you, it might feel like, well, it's a little bit too too late. I get that energy. Mm -hmm. They have regrets. Three of Swords, this person is heartbroken over the fact that they completely sabotaged this connection. Completely. Could you please show me how this person sees this whole situation? of cups uh -huh. two of cups six of wands of course six of cups and three of swords the world page of pentacles and five of pentacles as an overall energy uh, as an overall energy cross watches the roles can be reversed Number 66 might be quite important, or number 66 six might be of significance. How this person sees the situation? Two of cups, six of wands, six of cups, three of swords. They want to reconnect. This is someone who wants to come back, who wants to talk about good times. They want your attention. They want to meet up face to face, or they want to have face to face conversation. That's the better way of saying it, of putting it. <laughs> and, um, I feel this is also someone who, you know, wants to be, imp like, they, they want your attention. They want, they want to be closer to you. I feel this is someone who wants to be with you. But here is the thing. This, this person broke your heart, free of sorts. And they know, this is someone who knows that they need to face the music, that when they approach you they need to take into account that at some point you might wanting some sort of explanation or you will be asking questions you know why this person acted in a certain way at the time in the past causing this emotional upheaval mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Pentacles, uh, Five of Pentacles. This person is missing you, Scorpio. Whatever they chose at the time, that's how they feel. That doesn't make them happy at all. And they are missing you. Page of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. This is someone who wants to change the circumstances between the two of you. And they still feel that there is a chance that everything can be okay with this page of pentacles uh-huh you might be dealing with sagittarius let's see how you see this situation could you please show me scorpio's perspective hanged man Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, 
the Sun, Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. I'm getting here, Scorpio, that you're refusing to take any action. Like, I, I'm seeing you refusing to take to make that first step. The hanged man, it's a passive energy. It's, it's a pause. It's no action. Nine of swords, ten of... Yeah, this is someone who caused so much disappointment and, and anxiety, stress or worry. I feel that with the nine of swords and ten of pentacles, you've experienced so many sleepless nights worrying about the future of this connection worrying if you ever will have that ten of pentacles with this person a serious relationship why because knight of wands represents this energy this is someone and you know this obviously because this energy is showing up in your part of the reading this is i feel that you see this person as a player as a player who has big ego and if they only wanted to they could have been um very consistent they could given you this ten of pentacles but they chose to be in this knight of wands energy because their ego is really really big and i feel that you see this person as someone who's self-centered and who who cares only about their own happiness eight of swords here is the thing i feel scorpio for some of you you might be feeling that i don't believe that this person will ever change that they will resign from their ways mm. because they feel in their element it makes them happy be inconsistent in and out hot and cold mm -hmm. you might be feeling that way about this person indeed you might be dealing scorpio with pisces we have also uh, leo so let me take a look at your outcome could you please show me the outcome Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. We will take a look what this person wants to confess to you, Scorpio, in a second. So we have Ace of Swords, Three of Wands in, in your outcome. Could you please show me the outcome? Of course, Ace of Cups, absolutely. Mm hmm. Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Wands. Oh my gosh. Well, Scorpio, expect communication. Ace of Swords, it represents communication, clarity. You will gain clarity about the situation, Three of Wands. Um, this is someone here who will be talking a lot about the future, but I feel that it will change your perspective, you know? this piece of information that you will receive from this person. And uh, Ace of Cups here indicates that this person will make an offer of love. So it might be for some of you, they will ask you out or they, they will say, shall we meet up, uh, you know, and have something to drink or like, let's go for a coffee or, <laughs> or dinner or something like this, or let's go for a walk or let's meet up. Or if, 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 if for instance, it, it is a long distance situation, this person might ask you if, you know, you can chat mm -hmm, or something like this. But they are coming here with, with an initiative. That's the main thing. So expect an offer of love and peace, I would say. Overall energy for this reading is Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune and Four of Wands. Here is the thing, Scorpio. For some of you, uh, this is a very, very strong connection. Can be a soulmate con kind of connection between the two of you because the will of fortune with the four of ones suggests very strongly that it might be a destined connection and but when i look at the whole nature here it feels that something has to be worked through however these cards are showing that things can work out between the two of you eight of pentacles the will of fortune and four of ones and it feels like this connection will be given a chance. It just depends on you if you if you want this. Because the final card, we have a Four of Wands, which is a relationship card. The Wheel of Fortune. 
I'm getting a little bit of a destiny here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What did this person want to confess to you, Scorpio? Could you please show me what this person wants to confess to Scorpio? I am going to contact you. I need to speak to you. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Could you please show me what this person wants to confess to Scorpio? I can't, I cannot let go of the past. Oh gosh, look at their energy. I am more emotional than I show. Let's take it slowly, please. I see signs about you everywhere. I want to make this work. Have you moved on? I'm worried. Interesting. And what do we have here? Let me just pick up this card. I am undecided about us. I need time to think this through. Don't rush me. Yeah, this is, I feel, Scorpio, that this person has been very uh, in and out. Indeed, in and out, hot and cold. They didn't... It's like, I feel that they took this connection for granted, but they're stating here that they do want to communicate and that they will, they need to speak with you. There, you might be dealing with someone with the baggage. They have difficulties to let go of certain things from the past. They are quite emotional about you. They sing signs everywhere. So it feels like, you know, universe is keep on reminding this person about you. They want to make it work. They are worried if you moved on, you know. I feel insecure. Yeah, you didn't care with someone who might be very, very insecure. That's why they're operating here from the place of fear. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, if I haven't mentioned your person's sign of zodiac, but you resonate with this message that you're reading, and cross watches, the roles can be reversed. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.